a CBS2 exclusive on the abortion doctor who hid thousands of fetal remains in his garage. For the first time, we're hearing from a doctor who worked with Dr. Ulrich Klopfer in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and helped treat some of his patients. He sat down only with CBS2's Chris Ty and compared Klopfer to Hannibal Lecter. Thursdays were Fort Wayne days for Dr. Erla Klopfer, who had clinics around the state of Indiana. One physician who served as a backup physician at this facility says it was chock full of botched cases and behaviors that he described as pathological and deceptive. How did this news hit your ear differently than it hit our ear? It was shocking to me. Taking some tissue, and in this case, fetal tissue home and saving them, was just a, 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 something never should be done. I've never heard anybody doing that before. Do we read anything into that? The fact that he didn't just bring them home, he kept them and bagged them, put them in formaldehyde, boxed them. So here's a guy who's, who's not trying to do the proper technique on a basic procedure, but yet can save fetal tissue in a very methodical, scientific tracking way. Would you classify these as trophies? Especially with the documentation and the, and the put him in formaldehyde and put him in a box. Absolutely some trophy aspect. The way he saved him is like it's something he wanted to preserve as a trophy or as a memory for some reason. He left him in his garage, not in an unmarked storage shed that he could have paid cash for under a different name. I think, he, I think that there's a sign that he wants more to be discovered. And with Klopp for dead, no one likely will serve any time or be charged criminally with any of this behavior. We spoke with local right to life groups here in Fort Wayne. They say just within the last week, eight women have reached out to see if it was their fetal remains inside that garage in Will County. In Fort Wayne, Chris Ty, CBS2 News.